So far we have only dealt with a simple one ref, but what if we want to have a multiple sections and target them individually? Okay, so that's what we will do next. We are creating a sections array and then inside of the return statement we are looping over them and for each of them we want to return the same HTML so app section will be repeated for each of our sections we will get the section title and subtitle update it in the HTML and then we can give it a key because we are looping over multiple elements Now in the browser we have three sections showing up with the right content and now let's have a look how we can target them individually. Let's go back to the code and just under the header, header ref we will create a new constant call it reveals ref. This will contain all our sections and the references to them. Okay, we'll set the default value to empty array and then we will loop over all the sections and for each of them we'll add it to this array. Then we would be simply able to loop over the reveals ref dot current array and tween them individually. We will extract this and do it in its own function. So just above the return statement we will create the add to refs function that will receive the element and for now we will just console log it. Okay, so we're console logging whatever comes into the add to refs function. And now we'll run this add to refs function on each of our sections. This will run for every of our sections and inside of the console we will see the three elements being printed out. Okay, so these are our elements, these are the refs and we want to store them in the refs.current array that we've created previously. Let's go back to the code, we'll remove the console log and instead of that we will simply check if the element exists and if it does not exist in the array we will add it in. Okay, simple array modification here, checking if it includes and if not we are using the array.push to push the element inside of our reveals.current array. All right, so this should make it pretty clear how we got to the, how we updated the reveals ref.current and how we are now able to console log it and see an array of three elements inside of the console log. It only adds it if it doesn't exist. That's why the last one has three items and so on. Okay, now we've got this array set up nicely and we are able to loop over it in one of our use effects and twin them individually.